Hi everyone, welcome back to Acquired Taste. If you're new here, my name is Rachel. I'm a part-time reseller, primarily on Poshmark and eBay. And today we're gonna do a thrift haul. So um, I spent $305 at Goodwill and I'm gonna show you everything that I purchased and I can tell you what I paid for them. Um, some items I have posted and then I have kind of a box that I haven't even looked at yet. So I have no idea what's in this bottom box, um, but I do have some things posted and I'll share those numbers with you. All right, with that, let's just get started. So the first item I'm gonna talk about are these golf shoes. So these are Foot Joy and you can see it hopefully right there. Um, and these are almost like brand new. These are golf shoes and they're like a vintage golf shoe and they look like they've hardly been worn at all. And they have like the metal cleat on them, which actually, I don't know if these are, you're allowed to play with these uh, at very many places anymore. I did sell some Nikes recently and the guy wrote to me and like gave me kind of a lower offer than I wanted to originally accept, saying that he wasn't gonna be able to really use these except for like one place that he knew of. So um, anyways, I'm kind of excited to find them because I think that they're in excellent condition. There's very, very little wear on these. Um, and I purchased them for, I actually paid up, I think I bought them for $14. Um, and I think I can sell them, or I have them listed for 60 and I have a light box that I take pictures of my shoes in, which has been really helpful. It makes my pictures look way more professional. Um, so that's really cool. The next item I'm going to talk about, okay, so this is Zara and this is new with tags. Um, and it's this really, really pretty long flowy, like button up dress. And it's kind of got this tiered, like ruffle in the top. Um, I've recently only been picking up Zara if it's new with tags. Zara doesn't tend to sell for uh, a lot resell. So I'm trying to only pick up things that are new with tags. So this is just, it's brand new. There's zero flaws. It looks great. I love the color. It's a size uh, small. So I think it's supposed to be pretty oversized, um, but I think it's just really cute. So that was $10. I believe I have it listed. Ooh, you know what? I'm not sure what I have it listed at. Maybe 45. I, I'm not, I'm not totally sure. I shouldn't even like throw numbers out there because I don't know. Uh, if you're interested in anything, please feel free to message me and uh, we can make a deal or something. Uh, next, this is from Duluth Trading Company. So this is a flannel. I have heard that their flannels do really well. I do have another Duluth um, item that's listed on my site, but it hasn't moved yet. I think I have it listed for like $24. I think I listed this one maybe at $32. It's size, a men's size small and it's 100% cotton, just a nice flannel. And in the back, it has these like breathable vents which is really interesting. And this is in excellent condition. So we'll see how that does. I think I'm gonna to stick to just picking up their flannels moving forward. If you have any experience with Duluth, I'd be very interested to hear about it because I have some conflicting opinions about it. Um, this next item, it's not the season. I purchased this, I, I think in the beginning of January or mid January, which is why I have a puffer jacket. But this is a puffer jacket, it's from REI which is an outdoor clothing store or just an outdoor store in general. And this is really nice. It has this detachable hood. It's in really, really good condition. I think there, I feel like there may have been a flaw in it, but I can't, oh, so I think there's this tiny little hole right here in the arm. Is it all the way through? Yeah, it's a little hole. And then there is some of the stitching on this arm is a little loose or coming undone slightly, but otherwise this is in really good condition. Uh, I think it's a men's size medium. Yeah, men's medium. And uh, you know, we might be holding on to this one for a while, <laughs> but I am happy to have it. And I, puffer jackets do really, really well in the winter, or at least they did this last winter. I'm assuming the same for this next winter. I don't really mind what time of the year that I'm posting things because I find that, you know, people are buying stuff for, you know, all kinds of reasons. And it also depends on where you live in the country. There are some places where it's still really cold right now. Um, so I'm just going to list it. Uh, it is, or I did list it like this last week. <laughs> um, this next piece is really cute. This is by Lucky Brand. 
It's uh, kind of a crocheted dress. It's kind of a mix between lace and crochet, I guess, but it's uh, sheer on, or sheer, I don't even know if sheer is the right word, but it's see-through <laughs> in the arms, and it's just this beautiful little Lucky Brand dress, size small. I bought it for $10, and I might have it listed, I think, for $32 around there. Uh, this next one I am absolutely in love with. This is one of my favorite things that I've pulled out of this box so far, but it's, it's Lulu's. So here's the Lulu's tag. Um, and then of course it's on the inside here. This is an extra small, but this is a brand new with tags. It's like a wedding dress and it's just all lace and it has like a mermaid. Um, it kind of goes into a little bit of a mermaid dress down at the bottom. I'm obsessed with weddings, I actually have um, a certificate because uh, so I got my degree in business management. I ha also have a certificate in event management because I thought I wanted to be a wedding planner. Uh, then all of my teachers are wedding planners, and I definitely don't want to be a wedding planner. Um, but anyways, this is beautiful. It's lace. It's a high um, halter neck, and it's got this. Uh, a little bit of a deep back here. I, I'm obsessed with it, but I have this listed for 80, which, you know, the way I think about it is if you're looking for a wedding dress, well, first of all, that's what comps kind of suggested. But then also if you're using it as a wedding dress, and I definitely put that in my title um, and with keywords, then, you know, $80 is a steal for a wedding dress, but we'll, we'll see. I, I just listed it, so I'm not sure how it's gonna do. There are a decent amount of likes so far. So we'll kind of, we'll figure it out. All right, this next one is a men's button down top. So I actually have never found this brand in a colored shirt. So it's Doc Martin, well, Dr. Martin's, right? And they sell typically shoes, like heavy duty shoes and boots and whatnot. And I found this plaid lightweight shirt. So it's not a flannel. It's like, it's definitely like 100% cotton. The only thing I didn't realize when I picked it up is a, you know, a few of these buttons are totally cr like broken and cracked. So, I, you know, on the, the pocket here, it's cracked. Um, there's one button that's completely missing. I think I listed it for, I don't know, maybe $20 or something. So we'll see if we get any interest on it. All, all it needs is to have the buttons replaced. It's in excellent condition. Otherwise, like the material itself, there aren't stains or anything and it's nice, but I was just really like, you know, in the thrift store, I'm like, oh my God, I've never seen this. And so just grabbed, grabbed it without really kind of digging into it. All right, this next brand, I love picking up this brand for men. This is Ermina Gildo Zegna. I've, if you're, you know, new to my channel, I've shared this brand a couple times, but it sold it, I believe at Nordstrom. And it's just, this is, this is just a really nice men's um, dress shirt. It's, it feels like quality. It typically sells pretty well. I think maybe not the dress shirts as much as they're, you know, a lot of times they have kind of silk blend pullover sweaters or jackets and whatnot, but I have sold some tops, so we'll see. I can't remember what I listed it for, maybe between 30 and $45. Um, but we'll see what we can get for that. All right, this next item, this is a brand I love to pick up. Um, this is Boston Proper. And so I don't, I don't know a lot of people that talk about this brand, um, but I can't keep it in my closet. It's every time I have it in, then it always is gone quickly. So this is just a black, uh, kind of a basic black dress. And it's really cute. It's simple. It's timeless. In the back, it's got the cross back. Um, and it's kind of got that square, um, you know, collar. I don't know if it's collar, if that's what it's called. Um, but it's really nice. It's It feels like quality. I love that. I bought it for $10. And I can't remember what I listed it for. Maybe $42? Not sure. This next dress is another Lulu's dress. I love picking up Lulu's. I know it doesn't always sell for a ton, but this was so cute. So here's the tag, Lulu's, and it was the size small, and it's got a zip in the back, but it's this perfect for summer, and it's so pretty. It's like a fit and flare dress, and it's got um, just a regular collar neckline. <laughs> uh, kind of a cute little mini dress. The stock photo is really cute. So I'm happy to, I'm excited to see what that sells for. I bought that for $10. All 
Um, this next one is the last piece that I know that I've posted or listed and I don't know what else is in here. So this is Travis Matthew. Um, not the greatest resale value, but it does sell pretty quickly. So this is just a regular men's shirt in excellent condition. Um, I think I have it posted maybe for $30, maybe, you know, maybe I'll get 20 to $25 for it, but, um, it does move. So I'm okay with it. I think it was $7. All right, the next ones, again, I have no idea what's in this box, and I think it's pants. I think these are all pants coming up. Um, so let's see. All right, so this first pair of pants is Theory, and these just like a, a nice, like almost like a soft tweed. I don't know if I call it tweed, um, but here's Theory, the tag. Um, I know a lot of people are kind of hesitant to purchase Theory. I love picking up Theory. It does pretty well for me, especially if you price it correctly. And also, this is 86% wool. Um, there's nylon, cashmere, and elastane. So this is a really good pair of pants. I'm excited to post it. Looks like it's a women's size 10. Um, that's a really good, I, I like the material that I'm reading on there. I have no idea what I'll list it for, but happy to have it. All right, this is new with tags, and I don't know this brand, but it's called No One Cares. Here's the little tag here, and the, and the let's see, and no one, like K-N-O-W. And these are kind of like the um, paper bag pants, and I don't know what the resale value is on it. Uh, it's 100% rayon, size medium, but the paper bag pants, and they're really, really lightweight. It's almost like, um, I mean, rayon's also light, kind of like linen, so I'm very, you know, I'm excited to see what those go for, and it looks like I have a couple pairs of these. So here's another one, also new with tags, size large, with that same, it's the same exact style as the one I just pulled out. These are going to be fun to steam. <laughs> they're all super wrinkly, which you know, whatever. Um, and here's another one. So these are in green, size large, again, new with tags. So that's cool. That'll be, uh, you know, it's the same thing. It's easy to list, like the colors. I'll probably list the, the colors separately, but the ones that are the same color, that'll be easy because it's one listing, multi-quantity. Awesome. Um, all right. This next pair of pants is from a brand that I absolutely love picking up as well. Xylene this is Fisher. These are great career pants, and career pants are really, you know, coming back right now. It looks like it's a wide leg. What's the material? Size small material is viscous, viscous uh, nylon, and lycra. So um, that's great. It feels nice. It feels really nice. So don't know what I'll sell those for, but I'm happy to have those. Okay. All right, and these are new with tags, and these are Callaway golf pants. Perfect timing. Everybody is golfing right now, I feel like. So these are just some khaki golf pants. You can see they're new with tags. Um, I think, I, I know all, so all bottoms, if they're not jeans and they're just bottoms, these are $6. So I'm trying to look for the size here. 34 by 32, they're obviously a men's. Um, I'll have no problem selling those at this time of year. That's a great, great pickup in January that I'm now listing in May. Uh, let's see. Okay. Obviously I love this too. Maybe not obviously. I love picking up the North Face. So here's the tag. Any outdoorsy brand. I love the North Face, Patagonia, you know, occasionally REI. These are just some um, nice outdoor pants. Look like they're a little bit cargo-y. Um, they're a men's size 36 and they're 100% nylon. So those should do really well right now. I just sold a pair of REI pants, I think last week. So that's great. Um, okay, are these snowboard pants? I'm definitely past the season if these are snowboard pants. Let's see here. Uh, women's size eight. Oh, well, these are Patagonia. So, and I think these are snowboard pants. So here's, I mean, I think most people know Patagonia, but here's some Patagonia pants. 
These are in great condition. I'm not sure if these are snowboard pants though. I need to do some research on them. Anyways, they're a women's size eight. They're long. They've even got the Patagonia right on the pant leg here. I'm gonna have to look these up because it looks like there's a zip that goes all the way down the side, but then it kind of has, it's something for the snow because your boots, like this goes inside of your boots, right? So um, I'll have to look them up, but that's very exciting. Might be past the season a little bit, but I will pick up Patagonia no matter the season. Um, definitely sells fast. All right, this next item. So these are white, which is always scary to pick up. <laughs> you never know when you're going to get something stained. This is Vince, the brand Vince. I like picking up Vince. Vince retails for a whole lot of money. Um, it looks like I just, I might need to wash them. It looks like there's just a little dirt stain on the pant here, but these are in excellent condition for, especially for white pants. They've got a little cuff, um, and I think it's, maybe that's supposed to be rolled down. I'm not sure. I'll have to do some research on these, but happy to have Vince. That's great. I have a bunch of Vince in my closet. So, uh, if you're interested, go and buy it all. <laughs> um, let's see this. I can tell it's Bowden just from the, so this is Bowden. I like picking up Bowden. Here's the tag you can always tell because usually it has some funky fun print around the waist here um these are just some career pants again these were six dollars um looks like they're a size eight and yeah they're just your regular run-of-the-mill pants i could probably sell these for 28 to 32 dollars maybe you know we'll see if we get offers um let's see if we have so many pants i can't believe how many pants we have all right these next pants are Nike Golf. So I just was talking about this in my last What's Sold video. These are a pair of Nike Golf pants. Um, they're a size eight, so they're a women's size eight, I believe. Um, so we'll see how they do it. Look, actually, you know what? I don't know if I can sell these. Somebody, very interesting, looks like somebody cut the sides and then added a piece of material here. I can't sell these. Um, so maybe these are a size like eight and a half because <laughs> it looks like they made the waist bigger. All right. Well, those ones were not selling. So there's minus six dollars. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh my goodness. All right. So this is, what is this? Le Jean de Marie Francois Gerbad. Like, legit, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> here, oh, so Marie Francois, yeah. So here's the back um, tag. It's a size 27. I These are cargo pants of some kind. I legit have never heard of these, but these are like, oh, I initially thought these were zippers so you could zip them off, like zip off the pants. I don't know, like when I was little, it was super popular to have those pants that had the three zips so you could like, zip off the pants to have capris and then you could zip them off again to have shorts i don't know if anybody has heard of those i've never heard of this so i must have looked at comps while i was in the store but i'm gonna look them up again and try and figure out what this is but hopefully it's something that's gonna get us a bunch of money um next man there's so many pants um another pair of patagonia that's always exciting when I see Patagonia in my thrift hauls. I just love it. And these just look like really, really comfortable, like capri jogger pants, which means I might need to keep them. <laughs> so these are a uh, size medium. They're just really comfortable feeling sweats. Um, these might be staying with me. We'll see. <laughs> but six bucks, I'll take a pair of Patagonia sweats. All right, next, looks like we have some workout pants and these are Athleta. So I like picking up a lot of Athleta. Um, it's a local brand here. I believe their headquarters used to be about 20 minutes from where I live. These are like a blue snake skin um, pair of workout pants. Very simple. It's got the pockets for the, well, I don't know what cell phone is gonna fit in this tiny pocket. Maybe that's in, you know, AirPods. Uh, but anyways, we'll probably sell those for, you know, $25, maybe a little bit less. Looks like they're slightly worn, but not, I mean, great condition. All right, let's see. Oh, I think these are golf pants. I'm, I love these golf pants. Um, 
Where's the... Oh, and these are Adidas. Adidas golf pants in a size 32 by 32. And they're these cool blue plaid <laughs> golf pants. I would love seeing somebody on the golf course uh, rocking these. I've only been like on a golf course twice, but <laughs> if I had to choose what other people were wearing, these pants would be it. They're in great condition. I think they're super fun. They were $6. Maybe I'll get, you know, 20 bucks or so out of them which is great or I mean it's good it's not great I guess uh here's another pair of Nike golf uh well it's not pants but it's a Nike golf skirt so there's the brand again sorry I'm just doing that one quickly but it's just a little skirt peach and white um it almost looks like it's new without tags because it looks like the tag was on here um because that's not the Goodwill tag and this does not look worn whatsoever so that's good, it's a size eight. So awesome. Again, golf is really hot right now, so I'm happy to have those. Here's a shirt, it's just a little, is this a biking? Yeah, here's a biking shirt from REI. Very simple bike shirt from REI. Um, nothing crazy exciting, but it'll sell because people are also riding their bikes like crazy right now, I feel like. Okay, um, another pair of pants, what are these? Okay, so these are Victoria's Secret. Oh, I might have actually purchased these for myself. Um, these are Victoria's Secret, size small, just Victoria's Sport. They're really cute. They have these like laser cutouts all over them. So I may try and sell them, but at the same time I might keep them. Um, but those are those are fun. I don't I probably won't have a ton of resale value on that, but that's okay. All right, we have a, a pair of jeans. All right, and these are a pair of True Religion. This huge patch on the back. Um, so there's True Religion, let's see what size. These are a women's size 28. Uh, I'll just hold them out. And they're new without tags. It's got this little thing on it still. It doesn't look like these have ever been worn. There's no no pilling or any type of wear on the heels or anything and they're just the black pants so I'll sell these as uh, new without tags that's great good find so those are probably ten dollars we'll see um, I'll have to look up comps I'll, they're just a straight leg so I'll have to look up comps and see see what these are going for all right next we have a pair of Liverpool, so I don't know if you've been following me. If you've been following me, you know that I do love picking up Liverpool. Um, I think it's a Stitch Fix brand. I could be wrong on that, but these sell so well for me, and I sell them between $28 and $35 consistently all the time. These are super comfortable. These feel like they've never been worn, size 4 or 27, and these will, they're just a skinny jean. I know skinny jeans are out right now, but... I still pick them up, I still wear them, um, and I, I just cannot, I do not look good in the in the mom or boyfriend jeans. I just don't. Um, I, I don't even know if I look good in skinny jeans, but these are super comfortable, so I will definitely make my money on those. All right, we only have a few pairs left. So this is AG, Adriano Goldschmied. I talk about these probably every single time I have a haul. Um, there's the logo right there and these are called the protege straight leg and I believe these are men's yeah they're men's they're 34 by 34 uh, and they're just a straight leg khaki pant and they have this really really comfortable feeling material it's not like your regular khaki pants so I'll definitely you know I'll definitely be able to sell these for maybe $50 40 to $50 I think I'll have to look at the comps on that I just sold a pair of all, something very similar for like $55, I think. All right, next pair of pants is Free People. I still love picking up Free People. I think they still have a really great following. And also, this is a Rahem pair of jeans, and Rahem also does super well. Um, very on, on trend. So these are size 28, and they're just a pair. Look like they're high rise. Um, kind of a lighter wash uh, jean and happy to sell those. I can probably post them for like 
$40, maybe I get $30 to $35 for them. Those are great. Good thing to have. You guys, in all these videos, I hear myself just breathing so heavy. <laughs> it's because I'm like seven months pregnant trying to go through all these boxes and I have clothes just everywhere. <laughs> but don't mind my heavy breathing. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> um, all right, moving on. So this is Citizens of Humanity. There's the patch there. It's embroidered on the inside here. These are called the Thompson Medium Rise Cropped Skinny. And they're like a really deep, dark purple. I don't know if you can see them on it on camera, but they're really in great condition. There's no stretching or anything. Um, we'll see. I, I probably can sell these between $30 and $40, I think. We'll have to see what the comps look like. All right, our last pair of pants. We're at the end here. Um, these are North Face. So again, North Face. Love picking up North Face in Patagonia. I'm so happy with all the North Face in Patagonia. These are just khaki pants. Um, looks like it's got a little detail on the bottom here. On the back, I guess. It's got that there. See if there's any information. It's size 38. I believe this is a men's. Size 38 short. Khaki pants. We'll have to look at comps to see what those are going for. That's everything. Again, I spent a total of $305. I bought these in January. It's now May. I listed, you know, everything but the pants. And so I have a lot to do, but I'm very excited for about everything I found. Let me know your thoughts below in the comments. If you have something, um, some type of content that you're looking for from resellers, please let me know. I'd love to do more unboxings or, you know, talk about analytics or whatever you want to hear. I, I'm happy to, to listen and try and provide that content for you. Anyways, with that, I hope you have a good one and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.